Hello everybody, so she is here. I'm out here in my mad science laboratory. I know you all have seen the atmospheric motor and the corona motors and all that and uh, I've got a uh, crazy idea to combine all those and some plasma technology and actually get a uh, really powerful a, uh, electric uh, generator going on. So yeah, that's the point where I get all my thumbs downers. <laughs> you can't do that. That's against the laws of physics. Well, maybe so. We'll find out. But either way, this is a Van de Graaff generator down here that actually belongs to Coltus, my buddy uh, Desert Experimenter out there. And I'm using it for my power source. And so I'm putting up a static charge going on here, getting my hair going there. What I've got here is a uh, set of discs. Let me go ahead and... Ah! Crud. There are eight discs here. Looks like this right here. And that is a charging up over there while I'm over here talking, so I'm liable to get zapped. But there's eight of these and one in the center. So there's nine total of the disc. The, the, the center one actually has the uh, fins on it all the way around. So you can see. Either way, in between each uh, set of discs, there's two discs, in between each of them, sandwiched in between there is a piece of styrofoam, and then a piece of cardboard, and then two more discs with sandwiched styrofoam in between, and so on and so forth. All the way down there's four separate uh, layers. Each one of them has styrofoam in between two discs, and cardboard in between each set of those. So, if I can put this on here without getting zapped and get it centered. Da, 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 da. Okay, now let me see if it's centered. Yeah, close enough. Either way, if you've uh, seen the atmosphere motor, uh, I won't go into explaining that all in detail, but. Uh, Watch as I put my hand in the general vicinity of this thing. Here we are! All right. Let it get too close, you're getting zapped. Anyway, I've been saying all along you can get work out of high voltage alone. This is a static charge and discharge going on right here. However, the weight that is at involved in this deal is pretty impressive if I do say so myself. There's some guys out there that's got some really cool Corona motors that are uh, really uh, uh, fast. And some of them that's got a lot of torque. Uh, Rimstar.org. Um, Laser uh, Hacker, I think it's Laser Hacker, that does a, uh, a really good one. Atmospheric motors that uh, have a lot of torque. And there's a, a couple guys that I'll try to put links in the bottom of this video that actually have uh, uh, Corona motors and static motors that actually have a lot of torque to them. So anyway, my particular design right here I hope to incorporate with plasma technology and using that uh, plasma technology to kind of uh, stir things up a bit. <laughs> I keep getting shocked. <coughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah, you got to watch where you put your hand there. That's for sure. Okay, let me see if I can get this thing going better. Yeah! Notice you can go in either direction with it. Depending on which side of the plate you're on. And 
then you can feel a really good ionic wind all the way around this entire deal right here. Feel the wind blowing. Actually, you can see that if you look real close, you'll see that aluminum pyramid up there in the background moving back and forth in that wind that's being created. I can feel my hair standing up. But I'm quite convinced that using this and a few other techniques, even hydraulics, that you can actually build a combination Wimshurst slash Van de Graaff slash uh, atmosphere motor slash ion drive motor slash static motor that will have a whole lot of torque. I don't have an actual weight on this thing right here but uh, it's pretty pretty substantial compared to all the other little gizmos that people use and I have seen some really good uh, static ouch some really good static motors <laughs> yeah. Let me try something here. I'll try to cut this video down here, but alrighty then. That's not going to occur. Live experiment. Yeah. <laughs> well, this thing will tear you up after a while. Thanks, Cultus. <laughs> you can see it de definitely building up a heck of a charge. And in my next uh, video with this particular gizmo, I will try to hook it up to my oil burner igniter and see if we can get some serious RPMs out of it. But in the meantime, I wanted you to see this thing move. Yeah, depending on which side you're... Doggone it, can't see where I'm going there. I'm going to get shot. Depending on which side you're on, will depend on which direction it's going in. I hope you can see that. I'm gonna get the crud shocked out of me here. So anyway. To try to make a long story short, I'm going to use all these things in conjunction with one another in order to build a really powerful, uh, with a lot of torque, uh, generator using high voltage alone. I know this can be done, and I'm fixing, I'm fixing, I'm proving it. So we can get, um, we can get some folks together. Y'all have your free energy shortly. Yo! Let's <laughs> see if I get some fins halfway decent over here. Maybe I could get this thing to go by itself without having to put my hand in there and get shocked but you can see I'm getting some really good really good motion out of that thing so there's actually a little bit of power there anyway that's getting work out of voltage high voltage so when I put this uh, 
plasma slash Van de Graaff slash Wimshurst slash atmospheric motor slash static motor uh, all this to all this together in one unit if I can get some help we can do this thing really quick and then everybody who wants uh, free electricity can get free electricity see the whole the, the whole key is you don't need all the currents watts and amps up until a certain point so I'm gonna build up a charge I'm gonna shoot it across to a massive capacitor bank and then from that I can bleed off uh, to uh, whatever it is that I want to run from that point on and I know this is possible and I know I'm gonna get a whole bunch of thumbs uh, downs over this video but it's alright you know hey whenever I put up or shut up then the people will know that it really works you can definitely see that this thing is moving and it's a lot heavier uh, than the most of the coronal motors that people put together with the exception of the guy who did the one uh, that uh, had a jar with aluminum foil inside of it which was really impressive and there's another guy out there I'll have to get all the YouTube channels together and show them to you the, there's some small YouTube channels with some really great research on it need to uh, support those guys because they're doing really good work and uh, so with that said peace and love everybody take care uh, stay tuned uh, you're watching Awake TV and Shaziz uh, Mad Science